Now let me show you how to set up Swift Paws here in the yard. I like to start by placing three of the pulleys in three corners of the lawn. There's a little rope attached to the back of the pulley. Use one of these metal stakes to secure the pulley in the corner of the lawn. Then do the same thing with another pulley in another corner of the lawn. And the same thing again with a third pulley in the third corner of the lawn. Then in the fourth corner of the lawn, I'm going to place the heart of the Swift Paws system, a battery-powered motorized pulley. This is what's going to power the entire system. Now we're going to lay out the string. What I like to do to get started is to make a little loop at the end of the string line. Then I just take that loop at the end of the string and temporarily attach it to the stake behind the motorized unit. From there, it's just a matter of laying a line of string all the way around the perimeter of the lawn from one pulley to the next. And each time you get the string to one of the pulleys, you just pop open the lid of the pulley, feed the string around it, and then put the lid back down. Then just keep unwinding the string and head down to the next pulley. It's the same process each time you get to a pulley, pop the lid, feed the string around the pulley, close the lid. <laughs> Now we're on our way to the third pulley. Just keep laying down that line of string. At the third pulley, same thing. Pop the lid, feed the string around, close the lid. By the way, notice that knot in the string. That's just a place where the string broke during a previous session. If that happens, just tie it back together. A knot in the line won't hurt anything. And now here at the fourth corner of the lawn, this is where the motorized pulley goes. Remember that loop I put at the beginning of the string? I'm just going to use a little Boy Scout knot to tie the other end of the string to the loop, making one big continuous run of string going all around the lawn. Now we have to make a very important tension adjustment. We're going to position this motorized pulley far enough back that the loop of string is tight, but not too tight. You're not going to get this right the first time you try it, but with a little trial and error, you'll learn just how far back to go to get the tension just right. Now we just need to attach our lure to the line. The lure is just basically a plastic bag with no bottom. And I'm going to attach it to a little bit of string that was left dangling when I made that loop at the very beginning of the line. Another Boy Scout knot, and the bag is firmly attached to the line. And that's our lure right there. That's what the dog will chase like it's a rabbit. The very last step of the setup process is just to open the battery compartment on the motorized unit, attach the battery, and then put the battery cover back on. Now you can turn on the switch on the back of the motorized unit, Press the power button on the remote control, and this system is operational. The remote control is quite comfortable to hold. That white thing by the tip of my thumb is how you control the direction and speed of the system. The speed is adjustable, just using your thumb. Push that white thing down to get everything going one direction. Push it up if you want to go in the opposite direction. And the further up or down you move it, the faster everything goes. Carly has been very patient with me while I've been setting this up. It's time to let her run. Here's a montage of Carly in action with Swift Paws.